Coming up on Channel 8 Eyewitness News, live at noon. If you plan to spend any time outside today, be careful. Avoid heat stroke. We'll tell you the symptoms you need to look for. And imagine having to carry your groceries for miles in this heat. A lot of Las Vegans do it every day, but there's very good news for folks who live in one of our poorest parts of the valley. And big news out of Massachusetts this morning. Senator Edward Kennedy has a brain tumor. This is Channel 8 Eyewitness News at Noon in high definition. Good afternoon, thanks for joining us. The heat wave gripping our valley is not showing any signs of cooling off today. Forecaster Sherry Swens joins us now with more on what to expect and what's ahead. Sherry. Well, we have to stick this heat out just one more day and then we're going to have a big weather changer coming our way. So if you can stay indoors and take advantage of the air conditioning, we'll just uh, do that for one more day. We have a lot of sunshine, the numbers are on the rise, but we don't seem to be quite as hot at the noon hour as we were yesterday. We still have quite a few neighborhoods in the mid to upper 90s and a few getting into the triple digits. The winds are starting to really pick up and these are winds of change. While they'll be warm out of the southwest today, they will change to the northwest tomorrow behind a cold front and that will help usher in some cooler air. Just talking about those records, here it is for May. Uh, we've had triple digits before, but we had 104 on Sunday, 108 Monday, and today if we hit that 105 we're shooting for, that would be a new record as well. And will we... Um, Excuse me, we will be looking for uh, temperatures to take a nice cool down. We were close to that all time high in May of 109 yesterday, but that's all behind us now, Charlotte. We'll move on to some unsettled weather for the rest of the week, and I'll cover that coming up in neighborhood weather. As long as it unsettles down. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. Well, because of this heat wave, officials are warning people not to leave kids or pets in the car today, not even for a moment. It takes less than 10 minutes for temperatures inside a vehicle to hit 100 degrees when it's only 75 outside the car. When it's 100, 100 degrees outside a car, the temperature inside goes up 40 degrees in less than 15 minutes. Jean Cosgrove, the director of Safe Kids Clark County, says leaving a child in a hot car can be deadly. When their body temperature reaches 107 degrees, that's not compatible with life. So when you think about a child getting sick, getting a fever, their temperature usually goes to about 102. When it reaches 104, they'll have a seizure. And when it reaches 107, they're brain dead. And people who work outside in this heat also need to be careful of heat stroke. Heat stroke can build up on you quickly without you even realizing it. Some of the signs and symptoms to watch for include an elevated body temperature of 104 degrees or higher. Other symptoms, if you have a rapid heartbeat, rapid breathing, confusion, dizziness, nausea, or a lack of perspiration. If you think you or somebody around you has heat stroke, get them out of the sun immediately and cool them off. We have several tips about this extreme heat and how to protect yourself at our website, lasvegasnow.com. The proposed hike in the gaming tax will not be on the November ballot. The teachers union tentatively agreed to a room tax increase instead. The deal was hammered out with Harrah's, The Win, and Station Casinos, and it was mediated by Nevada House Speaker Barbara Buckley. Governor Jim Gibbons is in Iraq today, meeting with members of the Nevada National Guard who are stationed there. I talked to him by satellite from Iraq this morning and asked him about the plan to abandon efforts to raise the gaming tax in favor of an increase in the room tax to fund education. Uh, I find it troubling whenever we do earmark taxes for a specific purpose. I think it also is troubling to think that there's an effort out there to isolate uh, or to target one industry in particular because it happens to be our number one industry. Uh, you know, that doesn't bode well for our legislature. We need to allow our legislature to take and do the work they have to do. Satellite time for today's interview was paid for by the Defense Department, which sponsored the governor's trip. Nevada's First Lady Dawn Gibbons is offering her husband a compromise over who gets to stay in the governor's mansion. She says she will stay in the guest house, separate from the mansion, so she can continue her duties as First Lady. Last week, Governor Jim Gibbons filed a motion to force his wife out of the mansion. Doctors for Senator Ted Kennedy announced today that he has a malignant brain tumor. Massachusetts senior senator was admitted to the hospital over the weekend after suffering a seizure. Tests discovered the tumor. His treatment will be decided after more tests are done, but the usual course for this type of brain tumor includes a combination of radiation and chemotherapy. The 76-year-old has had no further seizures. He's said to be in good spirits and is resting comfortably. 
in Kentucky and Oregon are going to the polls today for the Democratic presidential primaries. Senator Hillary Clinton is expected to win Kentucky. Senator Barack Obama is slated to take Oregon. He may lock up a majority of pledged delegates by this evening. Even so, Hillary Clinton is not throwing in the towel. It may surprise you to learn that I have more votes than my opponent. Barack Obama has already moved on, focusing on the general election. He fired back at Senator John McCain today for attacking his plan to talk openly with America's enemies like Iran. And I believe that if we had tough, direct diplomacy, we could contain the threat that Iran poses. No way do I want to see us. Meantime, McCain's top staffer has resigned after a new directive from John McCain. McCain issued a memo Friday saying that all of his staffers with ties to lobbyists must sever those relationships or resign. Yesterday, McCain's national finance chair, a former Texas congressman, Thomas Loeffler, resigned. He has ties to several foreign co uh, countries. Loeffler is the fifth McCain staffer to step down as a result. An older area of our valley known as West Las Vegas desperately needs revitalization. And today, there's another positive sign they're getting some help. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Calvert Collins joins us live from Owens and J Street with details. Calvert. Well, Charlotte, the big news is a new grocery store is coming to Edmonds Town Center here at Owens and J Street. Now, there hasn't been a tenant in this location since the Vons left back in August of 2004. So this will be the only grocery store serving West Las Vegas residents. Now, the 43,000 square foot buy low market was a partnership between the city and Vons to bring the low price grocer here. The city did a nationwide search to find a grocer to fill the spot and met with residents to see what they wanted. Bilo markets are currently serving inner city Southern California and this will be the first one in Nevada. City officials are excited about the new opportunity while residents are skeptical. Once your market comes here, you're going to attract thousands of people to this area. And they're going to see the opportunities that are available as far as real estate, as far as business, as far as community activity. And seem as though they're trying to uh, satisfy us with a bone. And we don't want a bone. We want a whole meal. And they're supposed to sit down with us, the members of the community and ACORN, and discuss the bringing up of another uh, supermarket here. Bush says residents had their hearts initially set on food for less coming to the vacant space at Lake Mead and Martin Luther King, but that deal fell through. He also said Mario's, a local grocer, was in talks for that space as well. Now, Buy Low Market is expected to open by the end of this year at the very earliest. Charlotte? Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for them. At Calvert, if it does open as scheduled, uh, is this going to bring many jobs to the area? Any idea how many jobs might come because of the store? Well, the CEO of Bilo Market told us that he expects between 100 and 150 new jobs to be brought because of this store. Councilman Ricky Barlow, whose district this is, said he's planning to hold a job fair at the Doolittle Community Center later this year. That date and time has yet to be announced. The market is certainly needed. Calvert, thank you. Police are looking for two suspects who they say robbed a man at gunpoint earlier this month. They are accused of approaching the man who was walking near Camino Mal Norte and Washington Streets May 7th. The suspects reportedly pulled out a gun and demanded money from the victim. Surveillance camera here at a nearby store recorded both suspects on camera. If you think you recognize either of these two men, please call Crime Stoppers. The city of Las Vegas may be one step closer to budget cuts. A meeting is being held today to discuss the proposed cuts as the city faces one of the largest deficits in its history. They've already closed rec centers on Sundays and not filled nearly 200 positions to save money. You can see the list of proposed cuts at our website, lasvegasnow.com. The United Nations is urging the ruling military in Myanmar to accept more foreign aid. Straight ahead, why the UN says this is a critical moment for that country. An inmate from Ohio broke free in court. Look at this. Coming up, we'll show you how he managed to get past security. And if you're looking for some low-cost dental care, you may be in luck. We'll look at where you can get dental help for bargain prices. That's coming up on Channel 8 Eyewitness News, live at noon. You're watching Channel 8 Eyewitness News at noon with Gary Waddell and Charlotte Evans. The first local news in HD. This is Channel 8 Eyewitness News at noon in high definition. 
former pro basketball player Charles Barkley says that his debt to win Las Vegas Casino is now paid off. I'm not going to gamble anymore. You're not? Uh, I'm not going to gamble anymore. Uh, just because I can afford to lose money don't mean I should do it. On May 14th. But today, Win Las Vegas says it has not received any money for that debt, which totals $400,000. During a pregame show for the NBA playoffs yesterday, Charles Barkley insisted he'd paid off the loans, which were taken out in October. Charles Barkley also said that he is not currently financially strapped. Police officers from around southern Nevada honored their fallen comrades this morning and dedicated a new statue in their memory. Officers from Nellis to the NHP to Metro gathered at a park on Cheyenne and Wallapai this morning to pay homage to their colleagues. 23 officers have been killed in the line of duty in Nevada's history. A statue was commissioned six years ago. Today, it was unveiled honoring those officers. Three-day mourning period for the victims of a devastating cyclone in Myanmar is underway. UN Secretary General Bang Kai Moon, who is expected to travel to the country this week, is calling on the ruling military in Myanmar to allow more foreign aid to come into the country. He says this is a critical moment for that country because so far rescue crews have been able to only reach about 25 percent of Myanmar's people in need. The junta has been blocking international efforts to help the victims of the devastating cyclone. The military-led regime opened its doors yesterday to its neighboring countries who are trying to help the victims, but most foreign workers are still banned. 134,000 people are dead or missing. 2.5 million people are in need of food, water, shelter, and medicine. An inmate made a run for it in an Ohio courtroom. It was all caught on camera. The suspect was in court in a holding cell when he jumped over a bar and ran right out the courtroom. Court was not in session when he did this. Police were able to track the inmate down two hours later. Investigators say that court officials were lax in their security. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I think there are new charges filed. Yes, too, I think well. so too. Yep. Well, the tough economy is forcing people to cut back on necessities like dental care. Straight ahead, how you can get some low cost dental work done even if you don't have insurance. And baristas clad only in bikinis are causing controversy in one town. Here, why some folks say these women need to cover up. That's coming up on Eyewitness News at Noon.